Hello, my name is Phil Pereira, and I'm the Emergency Ultrasound Coordinator at the New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. And welcome to Soundbites Cases. In this module, we're going to focus entirely on the Trauma Fast Exam. Specifically, we're going to look further into the right upper quadrant view, also known as the hepatorenal view. Now, we're going to cover the two other views of the Trauma Fast Exam in upcoming modules of Soundbites the left upper quadrant view, also known as a splenorenal or perisplenic view, and the suprapubic view, also known as the bladder view. There's a tremendous amount of information we can gain by looking closely into the right upper quadrant area in our trauma patient. Traditionally, it's been emphasized that the hepatorenal area, or Morrison's pouch view, is the primary target for the right upper quadrant, but it can take up to 600 cc's of fluid to make a positive exam if only looking into that area. So I'll show some alternative views in this module that can help us to possibly improve on that number. Now let's take a look at a slide showing us how to perform the right upper quadrant view of the trauma fast exam. We'll want to place the probe at about the anterior axillary line and using the liver as an acoustic window, aiming the probe down towards the bedside retroperitoneally to get a good view of these anatomical structures. It's best to have a small footprint probe that can easily sit between the ribs, giving a good view onto this area. Notice that this is a long axis view with a probe marker positioned superiorly. Now our first view from this right upper quadrant area will be position one as shown here in the infradiaphragmatic space just below the diaphragm and above the liver. Second, we'll move the probe slightly inferiorly to look into the, to the traditional Morrison's pouch or hepatorenal interface. And the last view is the caudal tip of the liver shown here in position three. It's very important to look at the caudal tip of the liver as this represents the beginning of the right pericolic gutter and small amounts of fluid will pool here before moving into Morrison's pouch. Now that we know how to perform the right upper quadrant view of the trauma fast exam, let's take a look at a normal image that you might obtain. Remembering that this is a long axis view, I have the probe marker here positioned towards the patient's head. So towards the left of the clip here is superior or chest cavity and towards the right is inferior or abdominal cavity. Notice the first large structure that comes into view in the middle of the image is the liver and to the right or inferior to the liver we see the football shaped kidney. Now it's that interface between the liver and kidney that represents a potential space known as Morrison's pouch where we'll be looking for dark anechoic fluid collections. Note here we see a thin white line making up a normal exam and representing the fat within the capsule around the kidney. Notice to the left of the liver we see the white diaphragm that represents the interface between chest and abdominal cavities. Let's take a look at another normal right upper quadrant examination. Again, the probe marker is towards the patient's head, so superior chest cavity towards the left, inferior abdominal cavity towards the right. We see the liver in the middle of the image and notice the diaphragm above the liver moving up and down as the patient breathes. We see the kidney inferior to the liver and notice the potential space in between the liver and the kidney that makes up the hepatorenal fossa or pouch of Morrison. Notice in this video clip all we see is a white line representing the fat within the capsule around the kidney or Gerota's capsule. If there was fluid we would see a dark or anechoic fluid collection in this potential space. Let's now look at the diaphragm, which we see above the liver, and if we look above the diaphragm, this is where we would look for fluid within the chest cavity or hemothorax in the trauma patient. We may have to move the probe several intercostal spaces on the patient's side to fully investigate the right upper quadrant for fluid. Here's a swing view where I'm starting relatively superior right there, looking in the area between the diaphragm and the liver, going through Morrison's pouch, as I'll show coming up right here, the area between the, the liver and the kidney, and terminating at the inferior tip of the liver. Notice here we see the caudal tip of the liver extending almost all the way inferiorly down past the inferior pole of the kidney. And it's important to look at that caudal tip of the liver as it represents the beginning of the right pericolic gutter. So in conclusion, I'm glad I could share with you part one of the right upper quadrant view of the trauma fast exam. Now we know how to recognize a normal examination looking all the way from the area below the diaphragm through Morrison's pouch and terminating at a view of the caudal tip of the liver. So I hope to see you back as Soundbites continues and we look at part two of the right upper quadrant view focusing on positive examinations.